No, mate, I don't know how he is. I'm just waiting to hear from the doctor now. Yeah, oh, wait, here he is right now. Doctor, doctor, how is Rafinha? Is he going to be able to play the final? <sighs> Hi, guys, I'm Ossie Villa, and welcome to episode 57 of the first star with Everton. Our bid to win the Champions League with the club for the first time, and today it's our second attempt to do that. We have the Champions League final against Juventus. We're in Barcelona, and we are favourites, so what could possibly go wrong with that? But as you've just heard, things going wrong... Rafinha did do his hamstring, a hamstring strain. He's so close to being fit. He's so close. So close, in fact, he's going to be on the bench for the final. It's an extended bench. Um, but yeah, I mean, we obviously can't start him. But that is just really, really, it was heartbreaking. It's not the worst because we do, let's remember, we have Carlton, we have Bernard. So it's not the worst injury we could have got. But it is, it's a very, very important player for us that has been injured. Now, how did the last game of the, of the Premier League season go? I hear you ask. Not great, to be honest. Uh, wasn't great. Um, it wasn't a bad effort against Manchester City. I didn't... Rafinha got injured just before this, so I kind of got scared of playing our first team, to be honest. So it was very much a reserve team, just trying to keep the players fit for the final, even though we had about a two-and-a-half-week break. Um, as I said, it was a decent enough effort. <clears throat> we just we conceded one goal. You can see they defended well. We made them, We made them defend well. Um, we just didn't quite take the chances we created, which was a little bit disappointing. And that disappointment was then compounded because Liverpool won. So we actually ended up finishing behind them in the league. Now, given sort of back at this stage of the season up here, if you can see the league where we were, I mean, we started off really, really poorly to the point where look, we were ninth. That's probably, what's that? Probably November, December-ish. So we did really, really well. It is a shame having, you know, been right up there for a little while. Yeah, just to fall away a little bit at the end there. But I'll tell you what, third at the start of the year. We're supposed to qualify for the Europa League. Third isn't bad. Um, so we'll take that. Now, speaking of uh, Premier League and such, if we go to records, we did have a player enter the record of the Premier League. Here it is right here. Highest average rating. It's behind my head, isn't it? You can't see that. Um, I need to go opposite way to what I think I need to go. I should be out of the way. Uh, you can see there's 6.7 from 22 appearances. Bernard. Uh, of Everton set a new Premier League record. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so Bernard, can I bring that? Oh, I can't bring it up any any other way there. Uh, or can I do it this way? Maybe so you can see it. Here we go. Uh, no, that's not going to work, is it? Anyway, that was good. <laughs> and the other good news, it wasn't all bad news. The under-23s won their league. Um, the Premier League won. We were top of the table there. We did beat Liverpool on the final day to that one. Uh, we won, and my boys, Aston Villa. So we drew. I think. Yeah, we drew, and my boys Aston Villa got the job done for us against Liverpool away from home, and that gave us the league title, um, just by a single point ahead of Arsenal as well. Arsenal won, so yeah, it was really, really tight there. Uh, our young French sensation, um, he led the way on goal scoring with 10. Uh, Joshy Bowler, good average rating. He was the he was the main man there. Uh, main man that assists as well. Play of the match awards was, uh, you can see again, our young French Trevo or Trevo or however you say that, uh, led the way. So good signs, good signs there. And if you, I mean, that's a lot of the youngsters that are named after you guys. You, you know, this is this is where you play a lot of your games. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, you have all more than likely, if I, I wonder if I can check actually, see if you have uh, been given. Uh, let's go with, um, who play, Toby played a lot in there. If we go to... Uh, career milestones, will it say there? No, achievements, it's supposed the achievements. It is milestones, isn't it? Uh, competition, senior debut. No, it doesn't actually say if, if you won that or not. Anyway, but anyway, under-23s did win their league, which is good news. So, we've had the season wrap. We can't really put this off any longer. Let's go and have a look at the Champions League final. I've... I have lost a little bit of sleep over this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to lie to you. This is the team we're going with. I feel like the second half against Leverkusen, when we went to this, we scored for fun, and we didn't actually concede that many chances. This is, I think, our best formation. The only reason we went back to the sort of more conservative midfield is because Vladić got injured. So we're going to go with this, and you know, go big or go home, right? So Lafont is in goal. Uh, Dignita, Luis Felipe, and Milo is the back four. Vitzel and Canente are in midfield. Ricarlison, Sergio Gomez, and Bernard are the wingers. Selkie goes up top. It's the extended bench. Uh, so we have Rajkovic, we have Nick Stark, we have Josh Taimoun. Vladzic is on the bench. He's not really match sharp. Neither is, is uh, Ricarlison, to be honest. But he's not really match sharp. So we'll have him on the bench if we need him for the second half. 
Um, but Gomez has done really, really well. So we'll stick with him to start with. Uh, Sander Berg, Tom Davies, Calvert-Lewin, Stuart Taylor, Toby Berg, Alan Mota lookman again, not really match up. But we need a winger because Rafinha's not really fit, if we're honest with ourselves. Uh, it would be it would be sort of an emergency of the highest order, which hopefully we won't have if we were going to bring him on. Uh, and Terry Cook as well. Uh, I tried to get as many of you guys on the bench as possible, but we do need to still make sure that we have a, a team that's... We need to have options, don't we, on the bench? And, you know, you guys are young. You'll have other chances, I'm sure. This is, this is a good Everton team we're building here. So we can see the way they're lining up. Ronaldo's still up top. Uh, Diego Costa, they have some good wingers as well. But one of the, the reasons why I decided to go like this is because they were playing with a DM. So I thought, let's put a number 10 in there. Let's, you know, let's put pressure on their back four, see if they crack. Um, yeah, like I say, when we played against Paris, we were a little bit defensive. Do we say go out there and have some fun? I think that's got to be the talk, doesn't it? Just relax, boys. Go out there. Have some fun. Enjoy the final. See what we can do. And this is it. This is the last time this season we'll hear the Champions League anthem, and it all comes down to this. We'll have the end of season awards after this game as well, so win, lose, or draw. Make sure you stick around for that. There'll also be goal of the season as well. Um, so lots to come this episode after the final. That was so nearly a stunning pass for Bernard. Are they going to come up the other end here? We're only two minutes in. I'd ideally not like to go behind just now. Uh, that's a bit of a loose pass, but it's formed to Conrad Lima. Oh, just past the post. I had Conrad Lima in my Aston Villa team of FM uh, 18, last year's one. He's quite a good, uh, well, he was last year, and you know, quite a good midfielder. Yeah, I think box to box was how I used to use him, or maybe a, I think it was box to box. Anyway, that was last year. Let's worry about this year. Canente with the ball to Witzel. Witzel, nice ball out there for Milo. What can he do? Can he find Selke in the box? It's bounced around. Canente has it. They're defending very narrowly, aren't they? That's a stunning ball out there for Digne. Can he get a nice cross in? He can. He pulls it back. Selke! 1 0! 21st goal of the year for Davy Selke. 15 minutes in, 14 minutes in, and we're 1 0 up in the final. Go on, boys! This is what we like to see. Just good pressure, wasn't it? This ball from Witzel, that's a stunning pass for Digne. One touch to settle it, second into the box, and Selke, you just don't beat him in the air, do you? He is our big bloody German. Gets in, Davy Selke. 1 0 to Everton, and are we away? Are we away here? Come on, boys, let's get creative. Let's keep going. Let's really, really... I don't like the Bernards on a yellow card. But let's really, really see if we can ram this home now. Can we win the header? No, we can't. It's got there with Ronaldo. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, it's a stunning ball for Lima. Well done, Lafont. Just got to be a little bit careful of Lima pouring forward, don't we? I am wondering if we go to the DM setup now, now that we've taken the lead. Um, do we go conservative straight away? I don't... I don't like being conservative. It's not... Oh, we got, I think, I'm going to regret that if I don't, aren't I? Come on, boys. Just make it a little bit more difficult for them, perhaps. But then again, like, I don't know. This is my indecision, indecision. Come on, boys, come on. This is nice passing they're doing over the bar from Diego Costa. They're, they are a Pep Guardiola team as well. So, you know, we are going to see sort of passing football. That's, that's what they do kind of thing, isn't it? Gomez just kind of lost out there. Ronaldo looks to spread the ball out there to Bernadeschi. Come on, get a tackle in. There's a bit too much space in there, isn't there? We are going to put a DM, and I think we'll just go that little bit more conservative. Good block in there from, is that Canente, I think? Diego Costa again! Oh, another good save from Lafont. And before anything else happens, uh, we are going to just, just shift things ever so slightly here uh, and just try and not protect the lead, but just be a little bit more sensible about it. Um, I'm wondering if we should close the lines up as well. Let's try that. See how that goes. Um, we ha we've we only created that one chance, didn't we? And they've they've had sort of the better of the game. Other than that, I would say though the the match stats would disagree with that. But highlights, that's what we're going to look at here, isn't it? All right, come on, boys. Can we get into the break here, holding this lead? Couple of minutes before the break. It's a wonderful time to score. It's a horrible time to concede. We're losing every header here, aren't we? Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go and nick this. Let's nick this back off them. Pjanic. Always rated here as a player. Love Pjanic. Such a good free kick taker too, isn't he? Um, come on. 
we're making them be patient, but the fact that it's a highlight is what makes me nervous. <laughs> so, come on, boys. Come on. Oh, can we nick that? Not quite. Bernadeski cuts in field. Bernadeski is definitely looking to come in, isn't he? That's stunning tracking back by Ricarlison. Excellent stuff. Let's get rid of that LaFont. Oh, no. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Is that a sign that it just might be our day? Ricarlison did really well tracking back, and it was just a poor clearance from LaFont, wasn't it? Um... What do we say to this? We haven't... We've got the lead, but we haven't done too much, have we? Uh, what do we say? Uh, we've got a cut against complacency. Uh, do we say do it for the fans? This trophy is for yourselves, also for the fans. If they're magnificent and deserve success. I feel like that's the wrong thing to say. You've got one hand on the cup. Make sure you get both hands on it at full time. Let's go with that. Um, I think I like that. We'll just tell the players here that aren't playing well that there's more to come from them. Um, we'll do it individually rather than as a team. Because as a team, I mean, we've defended okay, haven't we? Just that one little momentary, almost major F up uh, that led you know, to Bernadeski hitting the crossbar at the end there. But otherwise, we've been okay. I'm going to tell Bernard not to get himself sent off. We haven't had our Bernard moment of magic yet. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that'll happen in the second half. Uh, we'll keep everything else the same. Oh, we're 45 minutes away here, boys. We're 45 minutes away. Um, let's give it, let's give it, let's give it a show some passion, maybe. Let's fire it up some of them. Um, in terms of subs, you, I just, oh, Bernard's taken a knock, a bruised knee. He should be fine with that, but he's not having his best game anyway. Come on, boys, concentrate. Away. Oh! In the lead-up to this game, we did do a lot of training on set pieces, both attacking and defending them. Um, just to try and make sure that um, yeah, we weren't going to do anything silly, hopefully. You can never be sure. We are very definitely second best in this game, though, aren't we? They've had a lot of chances. But, you know, you wonder where they're shooting from. Are we just sort of soaking up, making them shoot from distance? It's almost lost out there, but good strength in the end. Can I say, look, look, look to spread the play a little bit here, boys. Ramos, is that a good ball? No, it's a horrible, horrible pass. Um, I'm wondering here if we need to look at changing perhaps the way we're playing a little bit. Um, that should be easy for Milo. It's a good interception. Can he use that now? Ricarlison in for Canente. Canente goes back post. Is this the Bernard moment of magic? He's stopped it. He's brought it back. Can he get across? And he can. It's in the box. It's headed clear. It's there for Milo. Witzel, oh come on boys, is this the moment? Digne down for Bernard, swept post, oh to no goal, it's a stunning finish from Alexandro, but that is 2-0, it was kind of a Bernard moment of magic, not really, but it'll do, it'll do, we will take it and run, we'll throw out a concentrate now, we just need to make sure that we keep our heads, we're 2-0 up in the final, we don't want to count chickens yet, it's a nice header down from Digne, wasn't it, and to be fair, a stunning finish from Alexandro, but it really should have gone the other side than that, if I'm honest. Don't want to tell him how to play his game, but that's what I would have done. Um, all right, do we want to make any changes now? Let's wait and see here. Let's just wait and see. Um, oh, come on, boys. Come on, come on, come on. We're so close. We're five minutes. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. All right, let's start and take bookings off the field. Let's bring Sanderberg on for Axel Witzel. Uh, we've got Bernard out there as well on a booking. Um, I don't want to risk Rafinha. He's injured as well. Um, right, let's bring Lookman on. Lookman's a bit more natural out there. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. This is it. This is it. We're four minutes away, boys. We're four minutes away. Concentrate. They're not scoring twice now, boys. We are European champions. Yes, yes, yes. It took maybe a little bit longer than I would have hoped. I thought we could get there a little bit quicker when we qualified for the Champions League in our first season. But it doesn't matter now because we have got there eventually. 57 episodes in and it is our lucky number. Can we get a third goal just to tap it all off? It doesn't look like we can. It doesn't matter at this point. There it is. Hey! <laughs> What a day, what a day. 2-0 against Everton in the final, and we have done it. We have done it, we have done it, we have done it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Who are the heroes of this team? It's a shame about Rafinha's injury, but 
I think our wide players deserve a lot of credit, all three of them. Rickarlison and Bernard, brilliant all year. Davy Selke, just been a goal-scoring machine. I think our defence, getting in the, the, the spending that big money on defence, I think really helped as well. Um, oh, I'm really, really happy we've done that. Everton lift the Champions League. It wasn't our best performance, to be fair, was it? But it was a final, and finals, as you know, they're just about winning. We got across the line, we did the job, and that was all that we really care about. Uh, anything else we need to worry about here? Now, this does beg the question, what do we do now? Um, the stated goal, of course, of this was to win the Champions League. Now, we've done that. Do we end the series? Um... We'll have, a, we'll have a serious talk in a second here. Just let me go through all this. Everything there is done. Okay. We've won We've won the Champions League. I've had such good support on this series with, you know, you guys commenting and likes and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what to do now. Do we... I'll leave it up in your hands. I mean, technically, we haven't won the Premier League. Do we look to come back and get the, you know, get a first Premier League title under our belts? Or do we, you guys are open to suggestions for clubs, do we look to go somewhere else to club, to another club, and look to win them the Champions League? Um, yeah, or do we just start a whole new a whole new series? Um, I don't know what to do. I'll leave it in your hands. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. What would you like to see? Would you like to continue on with Everton? Would you watch a new series if we went to, say, do, I don't know, like a Leicester or a Newcastle or a Crystal Palace or like one of the other Premier League clubs? Um, a Sheffield Wednesday, a Leeds, something like that maybe? Um, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> you know, I really, really am enjoying this series and the interaction with you. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, crack your beers, celebrate the Champions League final, and we'll be back momentarily for the end of season awards. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Everton end of season awards. Hello, everybody at home and in the auditorium, and welcome to the 2022 End of Season Awards for European Champions Everton Football Club. What a stunning season it's been. We came storming back into the title race and almost you know, to the last few weeks looked like we might even be able to win the Premier League. But obviously the crowning glory, we are European Champions. And for that, I think both all the fans and the players deserve a round of applause. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> But let's get the awards underway, and first tonight it is the Golden Pen for Best Signing of the Season. And this year, he cost £55 million from Florentina, but he was worth every cent. It's Albin Lafont. <laughs> Next up, it's the Golden Card, a big one this one, awarded to the player with the worst discipline. And this year, it was actually a dead heat, but winning the award by virtue of one less substitute appearance, it was just that close. With five yellow cards, it's Axel Witzel. <laughs> Now it's time for the Golden Bullseye, awarded to the player with the best pass completion. And with 89% completion rate this year, it's midfielder Sander Berg. <laughs> and now for the Golden Spoon, the award of course for the man that feeds the strikers most assists. And this year with 12 assists, it goes to none other than Rakalison. <laughs> Next up, it's the Golden Anchor. This is the man that we can rely on, the man with the best average rating. And this year, with a stunning 7.7 .7 match average rating, it's Sergio Gomez. <laughs> Flying through the awards, and now it's time for the Golden Soother. This is the baby of the team, the best young player. And don't sit down, mate, because this year it goes to Sergio Gomez. And now it's time for one of the big ones. It is the Golden Boot, of course, awarded to the top goal scorer of the team. Now, it was a hotly fought contest this year between a number of players, uh, and it went down to the final game. But this year, it's the hero of the final with 21 goals. The Golden Boot goes to Davy Selke. So before we award the Golden Star to the Player of the Year, as voted by you, the fans, it's only right we have stop and have a look at this year's Team of the Year. If you direct your eyes up to the board up there, you will see the goalkeeper is Lafont. The defence is Taimon, Tar, Stark and Kenny. The midfield is Canente and Sergio Gomez. The wingers are Bernard and Rafinha. The number 10 is Vlajic. And perhaps a surprise, the striker is Terry Cook. A few surprises in there, actually, but well done to the team of the year. And now it's time for the big one, the player of the year, as voted by you, the fans. 
Now, this year, honestly, I don't know how you chose. It could have been any one of about 15 players, I think. The entire squad was absolutely magnificent, and everybody played their part in what has been a truly, truly amazing season. But you did manage to vote, and you voted en masse. With 40% of the vote, this year's Golden Star Player of the Year is... Bernard! <laughs> So that's it for this evening. Uh, that's all the awards given out. Congratulations to Bernard and the rest of the winners. Uh, though, to be honest, I think every single player in the squad this evening could have gotten an award. Um, but of course, that's not how awards work, is it? Not sure what the future holds for me yet, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, well, I, I will be moving on or not. Uh, but it has been a fantastic season. It's been a fantastic evening. Uh, so thank you, each and every one of you Everton fans. Thank you. <laughs> So there we go, the awards are done for another year, and what a night it was. Now, for those of you who are a little bit more visual in your learning, uh, let's have a quick look at uh, what's happened here. So Bernard was Player of the Year, well-deserved, I think, 40% of the vote ahead of Albin Lafont and uh, Sergio Gomez, goalkeeper up there in the voting. That shows how good he was, doesn't it? Uh, goal of the season, we'll get to that in just a second. We have our own vote for this, but the game gave it to Sergio Gomez and his goal against Chelsea back in September. Signing of the year was Albin Lafont. I tell you what, was he the difference? We saw what happened with Pickford last year. Was Albin Lafont the difference this year? It, you could make that argument, couldn't you? Young player of the year was Sergio Gomez. I do think Terry Cook's unlucky on that one. Um, but certainly Sergio Gomez was quality, wasn't he? In terms of uh, of the actual stats, the golden boot uh, was David Selke with 21 goals. Highest average rating, 7.7 .7 for Sergio Gomez. It is difficult to disagree with him. I mean, he's got to be unlucky not to be player of the year with that sort of uh, those sorts of numbers, doesn't he? Most assists was Ricarlison with 12. Um... What a player he was. Sanderberg, best card pass completion with 89%. That's pretty good from central midfield. Not in the war we give out in the evening, but Francesco Canente, most man of the match awards with six. And most yellow cards, Bernard and Axel Witzel uh, with that one. So, there we go. We see the team of the year. Anything else we want to have a look at here? Uh, season in review, Champions League winner. It just feels so good, doesn't it? Uh, third in the Premier League... Would have been nice to come second, wouldn't it? Lost in the sixth round of the FA Cup. That was, of course, to penalties uh, against Chelsea. We lost to West Ham. Was that on penalties as well? I can't remember that far back now. Moment of the year, our 2-0 win at Anfield in the derby. Um, that was certainly in the league, I think. A big moment for us, wasn't it? Moment to forget at a 2-0 loss at Old Trafford. These things can happen, can't they? Almost filled out Goodison week in, week out. 98% full over the year. 31 players used, only second in the Premier League. I disappointed in myself. Usually, I top that every season. I'm disappointed. Uh, the dynamics, Davies, Selke, and Witzel are the team leaders. Uh, obviously, you'd imagine after being crowned European champions that the, the dressing room atmosphere would be okay. Um, end of season review. I'm going to be a god, basically, aren't I? Let's face it. Um, and now, let's have a look up here. There are some European awards as well. Davies, Selke got the European Golden Boot. 10 goals, 10 appearances, 2 assists. That's pretty good, isn't it? And Rick Carlson there as well. Seven goals, four assists. Uh, you forget how good are our three wingers. Bernard, Rick Carlson, and Rafinha. All three of them are absolutely quality. Uh, the players in the Dream Team, and I tell you what, it's a blue wave. Look at that. We've absolutely dominated. We are the European <laughs> Dream Team, basically. Lafont. Milo, Luis Felipe, Digne, Bernard, Canente, Gomez, Rick Carlson, and Selke. Only Neymar and Benucci. Didn't work with the non-Everton players in that team. It makes you feel a little bit for Tar, doesn't it? The only reason Neymar's probably there is because we only play one up top for the most part. So, yeah, that's that's impressive, isn't it? And the Champions League award winners, goalkeeper of the tournament was uh, Alvin Lafont. That, again, is fair enough. Defender of the year, Jonathan Tar, But he was the one that missed out on the Dream Team. That's a little bit weird for me. Uh, Digne seconds uh, as well in that one. Midfield, look at that, an absolute Everton sweep. Bernard, Gomez, and Canente, and a striker of the year, Selke as well. So we've swept everything. What a season it has been, guys. Um, now, the only thing left to come now, as I said, is the goal of the season competition. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how this works, basically what we do, I like to let I like to let us decide the goal of the season, not let the game tell us which goal is the best one. So what we'll do is I've, there's the, the Sergio Gomez goal here. I've picked three others that I think are worthy of being uh, goal of the season. And at the end of the little video here, just click the eye at the top of the screen there, and you'll be able to vote for your favorite of the four nominees. But before that, uh, we have some honorable mentions. Not every goal is obviously win goal of the year, but some are worth a second look. Uh, so enjoy the honorable mentions. Don't forget to vote for your favorite goal at the end. And don't forget to, if you have enjoyed this, to hit like uh, down the bottom. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload new episodes. And please, guys, let me know what you want to do next on this series. 
do we do we go for the Premier League title? Um, do we just do we go to another club, or do we just start a, a brand new series? Uh, I really want your feedback on this, guys. Uh, you know, if you would watch a brand new series, then we'll do that. If that's something you'd like to do, um, as I said, I'm leaving that one up to you. But until next time, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. We are the champions. Take care. Here are our top four goals from the 21-22 season. Click the eye to vote for your favourite.